So Pete, unlike you posh lot with your tractors, some of us have to do it a manual way, exposed to the feckin' elements. I'm pulling this to put over the bale. To then hook onto this. So the boring mundane of getting hay to sheep. Crank that baby tight. So we then switch that to in and pray the switch works. Oh, fuck. Nope, it's not working. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It just needed some exercise. Right. Here comes my bear. And it's working. And the bolt is in. Come on, baby. Keep coming. Keep coming. Pete needs some to see some mundane farming. And then put the bolt on and now I kick this one in and drive off to feed the sheep and it's not raining right this moment but that's between showers okay Pete I first have to feed the sheep to keep them from the gate here is where we go mundane farming chores Jeez, I hope the buckets don't fall off. Through two gates. Plowing up the field. We're sliding all over the fucking place. It's so wet. baby in park. Hello ladies. Time for breakfast. And you can see uh, the water flow. My little baby culvert is doing very well. Keeping the, feed, keeping the feeding area dry. But back and brutal wet. to be done next while this lot are in here eating. First, you need to Everybody very happy. I'll close this gate. 
because she beat faster than the alpaca and I want the alpaca to have their food. So we close that and they're lovely enclosed so that then I can deliver this bale of hay. But I have to wade through some water first. So Pete, for your amusement, I have to get up that hill, which is saturated and really slippery. Those tracks are from when it was frosty. So um, it wasn't so difficult to uh, come up and down the hill. So now, here we go. We're going to see if we can race up and not skidoo all over the place. Hopefully this, I can do this one-handed holding this the phone. This is going to be very interesting. Well, let's hope it's not too interesting for my sake. I made coming up the hill. So next is to unload, which is really easy. Just switch that to out. Oh dear. Oh, I've got to step on this because the weight. There, step on that. Unhook that. Get rid of that the mud. Let go. And then I have to undo the strap and then move the ring feeder around that after removing the plastic. Can't do that with a video on. My little assistant, as I pull the plastic wrap off of the round bale, before I put the ring feeder around it so the sheep don't make such a mess of it. So this plastic wrap all has to come off and because I don't have a tractor I do it all by hand with Inca's help of course as you can see watch out little pup she's being so helpful <laughs> you're being so helpful <laughs> you're being such a helpful pup So that's that. Pepper, don't piddle on it. See, probably when it was out in the field, another dog, when it was out in the field having been harvested um, before it was collected, probably other dogs peed on it or foxes, etc. So a lot of times my dogs like to, you helping, you're being very helpful, aren't you? Yes, being frightfully helpful. So Pepper just marks his territory when I put out a new bale. Oh, you're all tangled up. <laughs> it got tangled in you, didn't it, pup? Whereas these two are waiting. Now, and a real tractor drives by. One day my quad will grow up to be a real tractor like that one maybe. Except that's a John Deere, so I won't be getting one of them. Ink is being so helpful. Because I have to move these so often, I use these clips for, uh, instead of the bolts. Normally there's bolts because normal farmers have a tractor. So they can uh, lift this out as one unit. I don't, so I sometimes have a problem, but I think that's partially because I'm doing this one-handed filming with the other hand. Ah. 
so it's being a pain in the arse. Oh, and that one's gone back and bolted itself. Oh, the joys. Well, that's one pocketed. And this one is just being acting the maggot. Oh, come on. There we go. Ah, and there, it's gone over there into the sheep shit. So now I move these over to here. And that entails a bit of muscle. And so we say like, who needs a gym when you don't have a tractor? And now all the dogs are gonna play on the leftover hay. So usually I do this with two hands, but shooting the video, I'm doing it with one. So it's a little bit more energetic. Now they've all gone off to chase a squirrel while I'm left to work except for the big fella. Standing guard as always. Aren't you a good boy? Yeah. So that pail, that bale, so that bale is now uh, ready for animals to eat. The alpaca have finished their meal, so here's Oreo Bloom coming to have first dibs on the hay. With there in the distance, you can see uh, uh, Inti coming. No, not Inti, that's Paku. And Inca. Inca, you're going to get in trouble with Oreo Bloom. But I still have to spread this leftover bit of hay. Just because if I leave it in a pile like this, it'll get stomped on. Whereas if I spread it out into smaller piles, like that, it's more likely the sheep will eat it. Because if it's all in one pile here, they'll just stomp all over it and pee all over it. Whereas smaller piles, be edible. So the two alpacas are happily eating. I now have to close this gate. You can see my tracks from previous hay bale trips. So close this gate and then I've got to go up the hill and release the sheep. So the sheep are up there. And they will be very happy. You guys are going to be very happy, aren't you? You're going to all gallop to the hay. You can see how wet it is. There's quite the flow of water here, making this very sloppy ground to walk in. And my little engineering work there has worked really well. You can hear the gates singing. <laughs> You think there's more food for you? You've just come from your new hay bale. You silly girl. You should be getting first dibs on the hay. I'm about to release the masses, the hordes, the hungry hordes. Inca loves going up the water trough. Or whatever we call this thing here. My little ditch to keep the feeding area easy. Okay, ladies, I walk up it so that I don't panic these two girls too much. So they're panicking anyway. Come on, girls. Come on. Go on, girls. Come on. There we go. A few at a time. The great white yoke gallops through a few at a time because we don't want to crush at the gate because they're all getting pregnant. Some of them aren't, that's a yo lamb. So we don't want them to be bashing each other too much. So I slowly walk up, 
then some sometimes decide they just want to stop. So you have to go up there. Look at that, four in a row, stop. You kind of got to go, come on. Come on. Shifty, shifty, guys. And they're heading up to drink some of the water further up. And then some are more brainy and they're going to go to the straight to the hay. And ink is going to play in the water. Poor Aggie's feeling a little delicate. She's got a sore foot. I treated it yesterday. So tomorrow she should be completely better completely sound. There we go. And here we are heading off in the wet muck as you can see to the fresh bale of hay. And I'm going to slide down this hill if I'm not careful. It's so slippery. Heading off to the hay. the way someone left the gate open and I'm trying to save the orchard for the spring lambs or for the yos when they're having their lambs so the grass will start growing but somebody left the gate open and the rams are in here now no sign of them Probably under there. Hey boys! Come on! There we go. I brought some food for you. And I'm going to close the gate after you. They know where the food is. That was easy. Wasn't it Inca? <laughs> 